second Ezra chapter 14 verse 16 and it reads for yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter for look how much more the world shall be weaker through age so much the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein first and foremost want to give all praise on and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, and double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere actors. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep their faith for gospel people here for a bit. Pretty much been watching videos throughout the day at work, catching a couple of videos, watch a video of um the gangs from Venezuela, you know what I'm saying, taking over some buildings, apartment buildings over there in Colorado. I'm saying watch the um couple of the elder apostles videos about you know saying how bad it's gonna be out here in the earth, how evils are increasing. Pretty much we're living in the time of second edges the 16th chapter, second edges the um 15th chapter, second edges the eighth chapter, the sixth chapter. I'm reading the 15th chapter right where well, I'm reading the 14th chapter right here, and many other scriptures that look prophecy is jumping off the page right about now, man. These women are really going to catch hell when the Isaiah 4 and 1 kick in. Women are going to have to submit, even if it causes them their lives and, and many other things, man. All kind of judgments going forth, spawnings, home invasions, a whole lot of deletions, wars, everything that Jeremiah was talking about, man. And right here, because things are really turning up now, man. A shortage of food. You got that um the heavy rains that's been coming through, messing up the crops. You had that heat wave come through, that's messing up the crops. We go through this all the time. Sleazy deleted a whole lot of animals, you know what I'm saying? A whole lot of um cows, a whole lot of chickens, all, all the above, man. Destroyed a whole lot of vegetables. He's pretty much because the earth ain't um yielding fruit anymore. Because his devil is ruling the earth. He he doesn't um rehearse none of the acts of the Bible. Which it won't put in his spirit to do that anyway. But everything is being destroyed, man. That's why he's known as the devil. He's he's actually destroying the earth. And we're in the earth. That's why going right back to Revelation. I'm gonna get those scriptures, Lord willing. Going right back to Revelation, the 12th chapter. It says, um, this devil know that he coming, he coming in with great wrath because he know that he only got a short time to rule. Shit is really hitting the fan, man. That's all the all the videos, but everybody wants to be independent. Everybody wants some of you women are stupid as shit too. You average shit, shit you um you ain't even above average, but you want to do you want to do you no know saying you want the um the one percent dude on the face of the earth. You motherfuckers gonna start. Who's gonna catch the most hell when all hell break loose? Who you think what what, what people you think is gonna catch the most hell when it really break down? Men, men, women are offspring. They're offspring. You guessed it. The women and their damn offspring. Cannibalism is gonna pop. We're just gonna let me get this again. Second edge, because it's really going down, man. It's really going down. And the Israelites that are not seeking your how blaha shim yah was shine your ass grass, man. The one that has went forth. The love of many is wax cold. Y'all don't see that. Still don't see it. You still don't see it. I was watching some videos earlier. You know, this dude, you no know, saying somebody all uh, post some gasoline on this dude, and you already know it took a took a um a match, and you already know what it is after that. Seen another video where this dude, you know what I'm saying, tried to cross these train tracks. Instead of waiting for the train to pass, he tried to cross the train track. And you know what happened, man. In half. In half the train. In half the dude. You see? Second edge, chapter 14. Greater evils, man. More invasions. More store, um, spoilings. We got to use our words um, correctly. Cold words. All I see is misery upon these people. People can't pay their, their rent. People can't afford to um, buy grocery. People can't pay their light bill. Hell, the, these ragged ass cars breaking down. People can't even afford to fix their cars. They, um, they, um, pass inspection and shit. If you get a car, somebody might bust the damn window just to get the stuff out of the car. Whole lot of graping going on. There's gonna be a whole lot of according to the best. You a whole lot of women you're gonna get ravished. It's either you Israelite women submit to one man or, or get ravished by over a hundred. How about that? You Israelite women either submit to one Israelite man, hopeful elect man of the nation of Israel, or get ravished by a hundred. How about that? Second Edge chapter 14. Second Edge, and we're gonna see who the prize is. The Lord gonna show everybody who's the prize is, right? 
Because Sleazy keeps throwing this narrative out there that the woman is a prize. So how? How? How the hell is she the prize when she don't cook, she don't clean, she don't do shit but beg? How, how is she the prize? But I digress, though. Second edge of the 14. And, and we're thankful that these prophecies are coming to pass, man. Prophecy is going to fix everything. Second edge of the 14, verse um, 16 in the reads, for yet greater evils, meaning bad times. The things that we're seeing right about now, the Lord says it's going to be greater. Greater. Greater earthquakes. You're hearing about, um, what, 6.2 earthquakes? The Lord let greater earthquakes. How about a 9 point something? You see? You're hearing about these, um, what is um EF, um, 3F. You know, you know the category songs or whatever. EF3, something like that. The Lord like, yo, go, go up. Go up. I'm turning everything up. Spirits creative events, I'm turning it up, man. Earthquakes, I'm turning it up, right? For yet greater evils, bad times than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Ain't no peace in sight, man. Ain't no peace in sight, right? For look how much more the world should. And that's why it's going right back to Revelation, the 22nd chapter, verse 11 and 12. And it reads, and I'm, I'm going to I'm get this and then I'm going to get that. For look how much the world, for look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. And I'm excited, just not getting off. Couldn't get a lesson in at work, so I'm here now. For look how much more the world shall be weaker through age. So much the more shall evils, meaning bad times, increase upon them that dwell therein. Henceforth, the title of the video: Things turning up more and more every day. Things are turning up more and more every day. I, I want to throw this in here right quick. Just throw this Matthew in here right quick. Prophecies is really kicking in. This is St. Matthew chapter 24. Let's get this quick verse right quick. This scripture right here, jumping off the page right about now. St. Matthew chapter 24, verse um, 12. St. Matthew 24 and 12, and it reads, And because iniquity, sin upon sin, wickedness shall abound. Because remember, uh, this man is uh, passing nothing. You sleazy. The devil, the deceiver, the slanderer, the wicked, the ones that actually ruling the earth, that's they're bringing forth um, unrighteous decrees to where they're passing all kind of wicked laws for you to be wicked. You see, the, the, their laws don't condemn any wickedness. You can be as wicked as you want to, as long as you live in Babylon, as long as this devil is ruling. So, so what it say? And as the um, judge of the people is himself, so are his officers, right? What man or man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein, right? So, so if your ruler is a damn demon, why you think everybody running around talking about they on demon time? Because they're acting just like the ruler. St. Matthew chapter 24 and 12, and it reads, And because iniquity, wickedness, sin upon sin shall abound. Because well, everybody has drunk over that wine. Everybody has drunk, drunk over, um, what is it, um, that Babylon juice. So the nations are angry now. The nation's drunk of that democracy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, women's live. Equality. Uh, a woman is equal to a man. They ain't nowhere written. They ain't, if a woman was equal to a man, why is women getting knocked the hell out by the Transformers that say they, they women now? Why the hell is women that's in the boxing ring with a Transformer, you know what I'm saying, getting knocked to the damn floor and say, I don't want to box no more. I don't even want to be a boxer no more. That's the hardest I ever got knocked down. If everybody's damn equal. For man and women, women is equal. The love of many shall whack cold. That's why that's why the only thing you see right now is a bunch of people getting their damn head busted to the white meat. That's all you see, man. There's a whole lot of spoiling. And I just read second edges the 14th chapter where the Lord said, greater eels, greater spoilings, more home invaders. And, and, and remember, we're, we're fastly approaching the time to where the Pope are not going to be able to answer your phone calls. Then, then we're going to see what, what equality is really all about there. We're going to see who's equal. When, when you call 911 and nobody don't answer and it go into an automated system, then we're going to see if that equality is really true. We're going to see if it's really true in that day, man. You see? You're just like supposed to be discerning the time, man. The times that we're living in. Matter of fact, let's just get this Ephesians. I'm going to just flow for a little bit. The evils are turning up. Remember, 2nd Edges 16th chapter says um, the beginning of sorrow. The begin I'm going to have to get that. Ephesians chapter 5. I'm going to just flow for a little bit. Ephesians chapter 5. The warning has went forth, man. We occupied in prophecy. Doom and gloom, man. That's all you're going to see from here on out is doom and gloom. Greater evils, right? And the Lord is orchestrating all. The Lord got those spirits created. I, I got to get that too, Lord will. You see? And if I can't get it, just put it up on the comment board, right? Add on. 
Brothers to be watching these videos, add on like the elder apostles been going into lately even more. Add on. Put some scriptures up there. You brothers out there, put scriptures on the board, man. You see? Did you learn anything? Did you get edified? Did you learn anything? Are you preparing your mind for what's really coming? Or, or are you just watching this for entertainment? Wh which one is it? Ephesians chapter 5. Because, you know what I'm saying, all the fun and games going out the damn window, man. Ephesians chapter, for you men and you damn women, man. Ephesians chapter 5, verse um 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. So we got to be paying attention to what's going on. We got to watch the news. You got Israelites out there. My family members include. I'm like, yo, you watch the news today? Or I ask, I ask an individual at my job, you know what I'm saying? Or just people in general. You watch the news, yo, today? Just to see what they're going to say. No, nah, I don't watch the news, yo. It's too, it's too much bad stuff on the news. As soon as the person say that, I know they're through. As soon as the person say they don't watch the news, I already know they're through already, right? It says, um, see then that you walk circumspectly, paying attention to what's going on, right? Looking around. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So we're seeing the signs. We, we're constantly watching. We see shit turning. We're constantly watching the news. We're constantly on the internet. Keeping up with current events, we're seeing the wars that are popping off. We see all these judges that are popping off. We see our uh, people invading stores and shit, just tanner, just straight up, just lawlessness. We see how this devil, you know, look, we're not even of this devil device. Let's get that right quick. I'm just flowing in the spirit. Look, look, we're not ignorant of this devil's device. We see exactly what's going on. This look, problem, reaction, solution. Problem, reaction, solution, man. Create the problem, see how people react to it, then bring the solution. We see this man destroying all these damn cities, man. You see? Letting everybody um, become homeless, closing out all these jobs, bringing in all these migrants when it ain't no damn natural resources over here where it is, but this devil ain't giving nothing out. And he creating this, he creating this, um, this situation too. You know what I'm saying? The race war, class war, the gender war, the civil unrest, the civil wars. This devil creating all that. But it's really the Lord, you know what I'm saying, is the mastermind the heart behind all this, right? This is um 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. And it reads, least Satan. The word Satan means adversary. Sleazy, right? Least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices, his tricks, his, clean, his schemes, his plans. You see? The Lord put us on game. We see exactly what this dude do. That's why it's tent cities everywhere. People aren't bragging about having a home anymore. People are bragging about living in a damn van. You know what I'm saying? Or living in a damn car. That's pretty much all the videos you see people making. Them van life, damn car life. You see? Uh, what is the RV? RV life and shit. Because this shit circling the damn drain, man. The Lord said, whoa to that place. Matter of fact, let's get that right quick. Let's get that right quick. Bear with me. I can't type that fast, but just bear with me. This is, uh, let's see. Yep, Ezekiel 24 and 6. What for? Thus saith the Lord. And it, and it won't meant for this place to bounce back. It's not meant for this place to bounce back pursuant to Jeremiah 51. The Lord says he's not going to heal Babylon. So for all you Israelites that are truly invested in Babylon, the Lord says, I'm not healing this bitch, man. I'm, I'm bringing it down. That's why we prophesied against this place. And I get that, Lord, willing too. Ezekiel 24 and 6. What, what happened to the good message, brother? What happened to the peace, brother? The love. Where's the love there, brother? This is the love. Giving our people this word, this is the love. Lord Yahweh, I told the, the head apostle Peter, if you love me, feed my sheep. So we're feeding our people with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which shall be the stability of thy time. The only thing that's going to keep us stable is this knowledge. And this is going to get so heavy out here. The Lord going to have that spirit on all. That's why we always go through it. And the Elder D. Mash, you know what I'm saying, him and um, Elder Apostle Ramlop, they was going into a video earlier about these women pretty much catching hell. And Elder D. Mash, you know, Demasha Pot, you know what I'm saying, was pretty much going into And I've been saying this lately, too, through the spirit of you have about Shemel Rashad. The Lord is pretty much making us numb for what's really coming, man. You see? So when the Lord really apply that pressure to you ninjas out there that ain't been getting yourself together, that ain't been preparing, for, and you ain't really been going through nothing, you ain't been going through no hard times, when the, when the shit hit the fan, you're going to bug out. Because the Lord ain't really really taking you through nothing to prepare you for what's really coming. We're going through these different situations, these fiery trials, you know what I'm saying? Losing things, having things taken away from us. So when, when, when it really go down, we're going to be numb to this shit, man. You see? 
And, and the rest of you Israelites side is just gonna bug the hell out, man. You see? You know, you're not built for it, man. The thug, you know what I'm saying, is gonna have his damn damn tail between his ass, man. The gangster, the same shit, man. You see? The, the six-figure dude, you know what I'm saying? The cool dude, the beautiful dude, whatever you want to call the dude, you know what I'm saying? Fold it. Fold it, man. You're gonna have to be rough, man. You're gonna have to be rough to survive out here, man. All that pretty shit, all that nice shit, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I think that um, word nice goes back to being damn stupid. That's why they say nice guys finish last. And somebody could put that up on the comment board too. The definition for the word nice, I think it goes back to being stupid, you know what I'm saying? Ezekiel 24 and 6. So we're not stupid. We're not nice guys out here. No, we're not um we're not lions in our homes, but we dare show ain't walking around like nice guys either. Damn pretty boys and shit like that. And the hell with all that, man. The men of the Lord was always rough. You know what I'm saying? Ezekiel 24, 6. Wherefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Woe to the bloody city, Babylon the Great. Babylon the great destruction into it, right? Why do you think all these things are turning up? Why do you think this anarchy, you know what I'm saying? The chaos, the lawlessness, the poverty, the, the economy going to the shitters, man. And yeah, that on um, that stock market shit, they control all that. How it going up, how it going down, the least are controlling all that. You see? We're truly, we're truly invested in this. Now, if you got some little investments or whatever, do what you do. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're truly invested in this word, this word has to be first priority, man. We'd say uh, wisdom is the principal thing. That's the first thing is wisdom. Get the wisdom of the Bible. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. Because that's exactly what we're going to need. As, shit, as you see shit crumbling more and more, what's going to keep us stable? This, man. You see, not no damn Bentley. You no know saying, not no damn good ass job. Because all these jobs going to the shitter too. And the only way you gonna keep your job soon come in the near future. You know what I'm saying, is to take that C hip, that digital device, and you can holler out it's June all day. You can say it's sleeping with a white woman. You can say it's an embargo and all this other nonsense. But soon come you are gonna go to work. And they're gonna make it mandatory that you put something inside your ass. You know what I'm saying, inside your ass, yeah, inside your arm, inside your body. Period. In order to go inside that building, man. You see. What it say? Woe to the bloody city, to the pot who, whose scum is therein. This place is full of scum, man. Scum. And whose scum is not gone out of it. Bring it out piece by piece. Let no lot, let no lot fall upon it, man. So we're here to warn our people that the Lord said, Woe, destruction to this um, bloody city that's full of damn scum, yo. You find the most degenerate people over here in Babylon. And then you got some degenerates throughout the four corners of the earth, but they're mainly produced here. You know what I'm saying? That bug out machine, that degenerate machine, it's on full blast. I think the damn switch has been broken on it. But that's all you see over here in Babylon. The great is nothing but a bunch of damn degenerates. The men and the women, man. The men and the women. And the Lord got something, something for it, and it's called judgment. Let's get this. Let's just get this. Like I said before, been watching videos pretty much all day while I was at work on just prophecies being fulfilled, man. Ah, lawless is gonna get. You go back to the movies of um, uh, let's see, um, I got so many in my head right about now. You go back to Bushwick. You know what I'm saying? You go to the Book of Eli. All these different books, um, all these different movies and, and books. They got books on them too. You go to um, the Purge. All them different uh, Purge movies. All of them, man. World War Z. In all the movies, it was put throw the scary ones in there too. It's coming, man. It's coming here. Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 8. And it reads the prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied. They told you what was gonna happen before it even happened. Both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of peasants. So that's what we're here to do. We're here to prophesy. We're here to tell you what's gonna happen before it even happened, regardless if you're here for a bed. It, it never mattered. It never mattered. Because remember, a prudent man perceived the evil hide of himself, but the simple passed on and are punished. Evils and only evils, man. Damn it, doom and gloom, man. Damn it, doom and gloom. Well, yeah, our people think voting is going to stop the destruction. Are you serious? Our people actually think voting is going to stop destruction from coming. No, the Lord said the players draw a knife and are not slack. That's true. Look. Damn fire truck right there. Ain't that something? 
I know y'all hear that. No, y'all hear that? That's a spirit talking right there. And the Lord is known by his judgments. Let's see what else. Matter of fact, let's get some of Second Andrews 15 chapter. And I, how long I've been going? 20 minutes, probably do about five more minutes. And I'm going to wrap it up. It's a quick look. Just another one. It's going to turn up. It's not turning back, Israel. It's going to continue to turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up, man. Second Andrews chapter 15. You can't pray your way out of this. You got Israelites actually praying to the Lord, you know what I'm saying, to turn, to turn the misery down, to turn the destruction down. Shit, if all these things don't come, you know what I'm saying, well, shit, we're going to be still here. Shit, our, our people don't want the kingdom to come anyway. The majority of the, because they love wickedness, man. They love being in this shithole. You see? Our people love being in this shithole, eating GMO foods, answering to these devil laws. You see? Worshiping, the, especially the damn men of our nation, they want to stay here worshiping that damn B-dub, worshiping that damn woman, man. Whose box has been ran through, man? They don't want to sit on thrones. They don't want to. They ain't kingly, kingly minded. They don't want to rule over these nations. They want to stay here and deal with them. Keisha, Laquisha, Aisha, Denisha, Federica. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Maria, Irma, and all this other nonsense, man. And, and constantly going to the damn cleaning, you know what I'm saying? Because you didn't call it damn STD. No, we want the kingdom, man. Second Andrews chapter 15. I'm just hit, I'm just hit some point. I'm going to jump around, hit some point, then I'm going to wrap it up. Second Andrews chapter 15, verse 5. For behold, behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. And that's what you see. That's what you see. Death, destruction, mayhem, chaos, famines, poverty, crime. Lawlessness, lewdness, nakedness. You see, people being deleted, uh, um, men and women committing adultery. Cause that's all the songs that they push forth. They push forth men to mess with other um, men's women. They push women. They say push forth songs to have women mess with other men, even though they got a man. Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, man. All right. Let's jump down. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. And all these things are happening right about now. Second Andrew chapter 15, verse 15. For the sword and the destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. Think of your race wars, your class wars, your civil wars, your economic wars, all that. Oh, yeah, your gender wars. We're going to see if that equality thing is really out there. We're going to see if, if the woman is really equal to the man. We, The Lord about to test all that. It, it's testing time. It's proving ground now. You see? Everyone is going to be tested. Everybody say they this, that, and third. Well, well, the Lord is going to test each and every last one of us and see what we're really made of. The Lord's getting ready to see, which he already knows already anyway, but the Lord is going to see which each and every person on the face of the earth is truly made of. You see? See what you're really made of. Because all of us are going to be tested. You see? The Lord is the Lord starting to apply that pressure already, man. And a whole lot of pipes are bursting already. Because remember, uh, pressure bust pipes. There's a whole lot of pipes bursting already, man. Second edge is 15, 16. For there should be sedition among men. You can have more people exciting other people to go against the government, right? Just say, look, according to the Bible, you see it already in these other countries like the UK. You see it over there. Um, what was that other one? Bangladesh. You see it over there. You know what I'm saying? In the UK, Bangladesh. Uh, I think it's down in Venezuela. You see? All down in South America, they they they, they shit all holy hell breaking loose down there, man. You see, even over here in Babylon the Great, and there's many other countries I can't even think of. Oh yeah, over there in Kenya, they still wilding over there. You see, but 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 oh yeah, ninjas over here, you know what I'm saying, playing around. You see, what it say? For there should be sedition among men and invading one another, coming up in them buildings, man. They shall not, hell, you got people following other people home, you know what I'm saying? So when they open the door, you know what I'm saying? They run in right behind them, walk suckers up. Don't just answer the damn door, mainly for you damn women. Stop answering the damn door. You just answer the door, door. Don't even look out the damn people. Don't creep to the door. Don't do nothing. Come to the damn door with your hand on the damn phone. That's ain't no some damn goons, you know what I'm saying? Coming up in that thing, taking every damn thing. You see? But oh, yeah, you women don't need a man. Motherfucker, please. Please. That shit old, man. Oh, it was old when it started, you know what I'm saying? And it's old now. You see? Eve is simple as shit. You see? Just like she was, she ain't no smarter than she was in the garden. Still simple as shit. The same Eve. 
thousands of years ago in the garden. She ain't changed none whatsoever, man. Still having game run on them. Still answering the damn door without looking out the peephole. You see? The, ain't saying who is it or nothing. Delivery man, delivery man, but you ain't order no delivery though. Simple as shit. And every and once again, everybody knows who stays in the neighborhood. Everybody know who has a man. Everybody know who's single. Everybody know what time you go to work, what time you get off. All that. All that, man. What it say? But there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. They're not going to listen to the president. It, if we have one, well, whoever the ruler is at that time, no one's not going to listen to him or her because you never know. Because we're living in um, pretty much um, a government, a.k.a. Um, what's the other word? Um, not a country. Yeah, a corporation. It's this pretty much, you know what I'm saying, that has a queen queen of heaven spirit cast it over. You see, to where all the men act like damn women. All the leaders over here act like damn women, yo. You see, all the congressmen act like damn women. It's all about what a woman got to say. But the Lord said he's going to create a new thing in the earth. You see? Enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy all that feminist shit while it lasts. Because all of it is about to go out the window, man. You see? Only the strong going to survive in that day. Manly men. Manly men, not mama boys, but manly men are going to stand up to the occasion, right? What else does it say? They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People are going to be taking over city blocks, blocking the streets, you no know saying, from people coming in, you no know saying, they're going to be burning cars and all this shit, just like you see in the movies, man. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, because problem Reaction, solution. Eventually, martial law is going to kick in. Eventually, eventually, they're going to have to call on the truth because it's going to get that lawless. And they want it to be that way. You see? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. In the statement the Lord had me make, you know, pretty much at the beginning of the video, you Israelite women, you're either going to submit to one hopeful elect Israelite man or, or get ravished by a hundred or more. Remember that. You remember that. Why you sitting somewhere thinking you the shit when you ain't shit? You either gonna and you're gonna submit to somebody. Give a damn what Megan the style and say, give a damn what um Kim um Kartrashian says, you know what I'm saying? Or fucking uh, who, who else, man? Who else? I can't think of all these H to the damn Izzos, what sexy dead, you know what I'm saying? I, I, can, I don't know all of them. I know that H to the Izzo, pretty much, you know what I'm saying, you got whores, hey, prostitutes, you know what I'm saying, um, spokesmen for the damn Israelite women nowadays. You don't have Israelite women speaking up against that nonsense. You got the damn H, H to the damn Izzos running the whole damn community, running all our women. You got H to the Izzos for the, for the B-Dub, the Latin woman, and the Native woman. You see? Because the, the, um, the average regular woman, you know what I'm saying, the, um, what, what is it, um, What's that damn word? I can't think of the word right now. It escapes me right about now. But they're playing James. They ain't saying shit. So pretty much, that, that's their spokesman. You know what I'm saying? Sexy dead. I call it, you call it sexy red. I call it sexy dead. Megan Thee Stallion. And all the other H to the damn is those. They're your spokeswomen. You see? So they have spoken. But this, watch, watch when the scriptures start speaking, though. You see? Read, read no one, though. It says, um, what does what it what say? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Men shall be afraid. So all you hard rocks, you thugs, you criminals, you crooks, you criminals, you, you schemers. You know what I'm saying? You scammers. And that's what the Israelite woman say she wants. She wants a schemer. She don't want a man to actually break down the scriptures the right way. You see? And, and it's fearing the God of the Bible. You see? She wants a schemer. She wants to do with the fast money. You see? And that's the majority of our women. You got a small remnant of hopeful elect Israelite women. Hopeful elect Israelite women. So for all you women up there that got um elect lady on your page, take that shit down because you don't know if you're an elect lady. Hopeful elect. Hopeful elect man. Hopeful elect lady. You got women up there just coming out the damn blue tones um elect lady. T take that shit off your page, man. And the majority of you women that do know you Israelites, you know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't shit, the majority of y'all. You see? So the hell with that Shalom brother shit. Fuck that shit, man. You see? Fuck that, man. Nobody ain't falling for that bullshit. That Shalom shit. 
That shit dead now, man. Let's keep rolling. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And men shall be afraid. How much more that we see? We're gonna see what equality is all about soon come. We're gonna see if the woman is truly equal with the man soon come, which we already know. We are we already know that shit is some old um um hogwash. You know what I'm saying? So some malarkey. You know what I'm saying? As Sleepy Joe would say, as Far Marshall Bill would say, we know there's some malarkey. You know what I'm saying? Equality and all that, man. The woman would never be equal to the man. But we get ready to see. The Lord get ready to test that, though, right? Fucking G.I. Jane, you know what I'm saying? Falling all on, on the damn ground, rolling shit. Got women on the damn movies, you know what I'm saying? Beating up like 10 different men and shit. Flipping, jumping on their damn neck, flipping them over, pulling out the knife, pulling out the blicky, you know what I'm saying? Jumping out the window, whole damn building blowing up. That's ain't no. She she's driving off in a damn military vehicle. You know what I'm saying? And a man back there burning like hell. Y'all been watching too many damn movies, man. She ain't real life, man. Says men are gonna be afraid. A man should have no pity upon this day. But shit, really get ready to go down. Here's for the title of the video: Things turning up more and more every day, man. And we see it, man. That's why we hiding ourselves within the comforter. It says, um, a man should have no pity upon his neighbor. Your next door neighbor gonna come out to your ass soon come, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and they might just destroy their house with you in it. With you in it, man. If they can't get in that house, they're gonna set it on a blaze, then man. How about that? They're gonna set the whole house ablaze. It says, um, but shall destroy their house with the sword, with the blickies, with the sticks, with the drums, and spoil meaning take their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Like I was going into earlier, while I was at work, I was just watching all kind of videos, you know what I'm saying, of just judgment. Prophecies. I was watching some of the elder apostle um apostles videos, you know what I'm saying? Um I was watching different other content creators videos, how these women are catching hell, you know what I'm saying? How these entitled women are catching hell, can't pay their rent, can't do a damn thing, confused little girls, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're 60, whether you're 70, whether you're 80, you still 14 years old up here. You same old E, same old E. This time, you no know saying the eaves, the events is still down with the serpent. Your ass grass this time. Your ass grass is done. You when sleazy go down, your ass go down too. And, and once again, you Israelite women out there, you hopeful like Israelite women, you either gonna submit to one hopeful like Israelite man, or you're gonna get ravaged by over a hundred. And you can believe that. And, and that's the scriptures. And our wives shall be ravished, man. You better read that. You better find out instead of trying to learn all these deep, dark breakdowns of perils and all that. You better learn how to submit to a man. That's your that's your job, Israelite women. Uh, can you break down Daniel the seventh chapter? Can you break down this? Can you break down that? Learn how to be a woman. That's what you need to do. Learn how to cook. Learn how to sew. Learn how to shut up and be quiet. If you ain't got nothing smart to say, if you ain't got nothing intelligent to say, which the majority of y'all don't, you know what I'm saying? You see? Look, learn some homemaking skills. You see? Learn how to grow some crops. You got women watching videos every day. What are you trying to learn? You should have learned everything that you need to know by now. Don't take this seat here and learn how to be a woman. You should be learning. You should be spending more time cooking. You know what I'm saying? More time, you know what I'm saying? Looking up different recipes and things of that nature. You see? How to make pillows. You know what I'm saying? How to sew. How to wash clothes. Things of that nature. How to purify water. That's what you women should be out there doing. You see? Trying to be deep. You don't need any, it ain't no need for you trying to be deep. Learn your position. Because they're going to invade that house soon, come. And I want to get one more scripture. The elder possibly been making enough videos today, man, on how these women are going to catch prayer hell. You see? It's going to be a beautiful thing, too. As the scriptures say, at destruction and famine, the men of the Lord are going to laugh, man. My servants shall eat. That's what the Lord Yahweh said. My servants are going to eat, right? So the men of the Lord are going to have the food. Second Edith chapter 16. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Are you measuring the time? Do you truly know what time it is? Second Edith chapter 16. Let's read a couple of verses right quick. Second Edward chapter 16, verse 18. The beginning of sorrows. All these things are happening now. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine and great death. 
the beginning of wars, hey, you got a council of women saying they had the grocery store, and you got you know, saying, a couple of men following them and they offspring around the damn grocery store. And then you got men at the front of the grocery store just watching to see exactly where they go. Then you got men outside waiting in their vans to snatch the ninjas up, man. Should them nap them up? Well, yeah, y'all don't need a man. And 911 is going to get tired of helping y'all, too. Just know that the Lord going to put the spirit on Sleazy to say to hell, your job is done anyway. You destroyed the household already. You used to like women. Y'all didn't destroy the household already. You didn't de it. You didn't delete it. No saying um, millions and billions of your offspring. Sleazy really don't need you no more. He get ready to cash you off. He, he, he would say if he ain't got no more use to you, he just throw you away. Sleazy don't need that Israelite woman no more, that B-dub no more. That's why you see all these videos of them being fucking homeless, jobless, all that, man. Because Sleazy is casting your ass about back out into the field. You, you, you did your duty for him already. Deleted damn near the whole nation, man. But you got the nerve to walk around proud of shit. Deleted damn near half the nation, man. You didn't delete more offsprings than World War One, World War Two, damn Pearl Harbor. Take all these different wars, put them together to fucking end up, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the Latin chicks too, you know what I'm saying? Then deleted more offsprings than all these wars combined. And I did the research on it already, man. But y'all walking around proud as shit, man. And all y'all got to pay for that too, man. Y'all got to pay for that, man. They end up and deleted more offspring than all these wars combined, y'all. But they the main ones running their fucking mouth. Like they got something. Shut up. Nobody want to hear y'all no more. You ain't got nothing to say, man. Nothing to say. What to say the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear? The beginning of evils, bad times. What shall I do when these evils shall come, man? And everything is turned up, man. It's a beautiful thing, man. Let's jump down, man. It's a beautiful thing. Let's see what else. It's beautiful, man. 33. Second Edges 16, 33. And remember, uh, the love of meaning is waxing cold. And you go to Second Edges, the sixth chapter, says friends shall fight as enemies. We're in that stage now, man. And it's going to turn up. Second Edges 16, 33. The virgin shall mourn. And y'all thought this message was a, was a joke. Are you serious? This message is deadly serious, man. And it's getting more serious, serious by the day, man. You see? And a whole lot of you Israelite men and women, you're not going to make it, all right? You're just not going to make it, man. We pray the Lord willing, we're kind of worthy to make it. You see? The Lord see who's out there really shucking and jiving, BSing around. You see? Smart mouth motherfuckers. The Lord see each and every last one of y'all, man. We see it, man. The virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms. The women of marriage will, hey, you damn titty boppers, right? The Lord see you out there, man. Look, you're going to mourn soon come having no bridegroom. The women shall mourn having no husband. Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers, man. You got new spirits, pray to prevent. They ready, man. They ready for the Lord to say, it's time. Go get it. Get it in. Do what you want to do now. You see? Ain't nobody, can't nobody stop you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no 911 no more. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, ain't going to be no penalty for your actions. Do what you got to do now. Get it in now. Do whatever you want to do. Let those no spirits create a vision run rampant, man. You see? What it say? Their daughters shall mourn having no helpers. In the wars, the race wars, the class wars, the civil wars, the, uh, the gender wars, the economic wars. Men going out there trying to get food for their family, never making it back. We always go through this. Lord, I'm bringing misery upon the earth because of these people's pride, man. Great misery. You see? It says, in the wars, their bridegroom shall be destroyed, and their husbands shall perish of famine. If, if the bridegroom is destroyed and their husbands perish of famine, what do you think going to happen to the women and their offspring? You, you can answer that question. What do you think is going to happen? When your when the bridegroom or your husband leaves the house trying to get food and he don't return, what the hell you think is gonna happen, man? You see? You look, you guessed it, man. Let's jump down. 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth. And, and once again, the majority of you Israelite men and women ain't contributed nothing to the ministry. Nothing. Nothing. Y'all watch videos every day. Y'all don't do shit for the Lord. 
no water, no tights, no garment, nothing. Just running your death. Just a, just a shalom. And that's it. You think the Lord just want the men to give him a shalom? And a, faith without works is dead, man. Faith without works is dead. Remember that, man. Men, Israelite men and women been around for years, ain't did shit, man. Nothing. When the scripture says, make your calling and election sure. The Israelite man got some, some things he's supposed to be doing, aka teaching. And the Israelite women, not every Israelite man, you see, but if you can break down the scriptures, and if you, you got the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, you got the faith and all that, you Israelite men know what you're supposed to be doing. And you Israelite women that's been watching every day, the hair with just your shalom. You know what I'm saying? What have you been doing for the ministry? Lord, I don't want to hear that shit, man. That's that shalom ain't good enough for the Lord. It's old now. The shit is old now. What does it say? As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son. And you're hopeful like men and women out there that's been contributing with whatever you got, whether it's water, you know what I'm saying, prayers, um, uh, tights, things of that nature, garments. The Lord sees it. The Lord sees it. It's going to reward you. Just continue to do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Fearing the Lord, you know what I'm saying? You know, staying dedicated. Fulfilling your role, fulfilling your life, as well as you hopeful like men out there. The Lord see, but then the Lord see the other Israelites that come on the videos for entertainment, the shucking and jiving too. He sees that too. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth a son with, with two or three hours of her birth pains, uh, of her birth, great pains can pass a wound, which pains when the child coming forth, they slack not a moment. The contractions get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger to that offspring finally come, right? That's just like these prophecies, right? They got to eventually come to pass, right? Even so, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the whole earth and the world shall mourn. Are we not hearing this? This is the good message right here, right? This is the good message and the world shall mourn and sorrows, sorrows, man shall come upon it on every side. This is the good book, man. Things turn up more and more every day, man. Let us stay focused. Let us stay prayed up. Let us constantly pray to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that we're kind of worthy to escape all these things, man. But we got to do our part at the end of the day, man. We got to do our part, man. Asking the Lord for everything up under the sun, but then we ain't doing nothing. We ain't nothing but a bunch of damn slackers. You see? We got to do something for the Lord every day as servants of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahushai, the Israelite man. What the hell you think you women got to do for your Lord every day? You see? You got to give to receive. It's better to give than receive. Remember that. Things turning up more and more every day. Shalom.